Good morning, folks. It's Wednesday. Uh, it's What's for Supper Wednesday day. And today's video, Carolyn is doing a, a recipe out of this cookbook right here. Jim Casta and Tipper Presley wrote this cookbook, made it. It's got a lot of great pictures in there, a lot of great recipes. Um, we've got our copy already. Miss Tipper signed it. And, um, Lord willing, she's going to be at Boone Mass General Store this weekend. And also the Sugar Grove later on in the day. And um, our hopes is to get over there and buy another copy and get Miss Tipper to sign it. And we're getting close on our watch hours. Once we get over our watch hours, folks, we're going to try to have a few giveaways. And that's going to be one of the giveaways. Um, but I think you'll really enjoy it and I'm going to hush up now let's get on with the recipe going to do a little bit of a spoiler alert here it's good let's get to watching hello everybody and welcome back or welcome if you're new today for what's for supper Wednesday we are going to be making meatloaf this recipe comes out of this cookbook. It's um, celebrating Southern Appalachian food recipes and stories from Mountain Kitchens by Jim Cassida and Tipper Presley. You'll know Tipper if you watch Celebrating Appalachia on YouTube. Um, we'll leave a link to her channel and um, a link to her book down in the description. And it's a great cookbook. It's uh, got some really good recipes um, and good stories about Appalachia, um, Southern Appalachian food. Check it out and um, you'll love it. And the recipe we're using is Tipper's favorite meatloaf and it's on page 70 and we'll get started. Okay, I will be doubling this recipe, but for a single batch of this, um, you'll need one pound of hamburger meat, one slice of bread crumbled, one onion chopped, one egg, one teaspoon of salt, and a teaspoon of pepper. You'll need an eight ounce a can of tomato sauce. I've got my home canned. This makes um, 16 ounces, but I'm doubling it. Uh, one and a half tablespoons of vinegar. One and a half tablespoons of brown sugar. One tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce. And one teaspoon of mustard. Let's get started. Okay, first I've got the hamburger meat in here. Then I'm going to take the bread and just crumble it up. Then I'm going to add the onion. The egg. And the salt and pepper. And a fourth of the can of um, the tomato sauce. Now I'm just going to mix this up. Now I'm just going to put it in a pan. She says if you put it in a full um, slime pan, it won't be such a big mess. I'm going to just shape it up. Now 
Now for the top here, I'm just going to use the same bowl. Um, the rest of your tomato sauce. Brown sugar. The vinegar. Worcestershire sauce. And the mustard. I think that's it. Yeah. I'm just going to stir this up real good. Now, just going to pour this over the meatloaf. She says to poke like some holes. So we'll get down in there. Put it all around it. Okay, I'm going to put this in a 375 degree oven for about an hour. She says to um, cook it almost all the way and then take it out and drain the grease if you have um, a lot of grease in it and then put it back in the oven I'm going to put it back in for 15 minutes it all together it's an hour and 15 minutes so we'll see what it comes out okay this is it after an hour I'm going to strain off the liquid or the grease and put it back in the oven for about 15 more minutes. Okay, here it is out of the oven. Let's plate it up and give it a taste test. Alrighty folks, look at that there. Carolyn fixed this here. Mashed taters, uh, honey corn should. Honey butter. Honey butter corn, all right. And some of our Monte Cristo beans we canned last year. And here's Tipper's favorite meatloaf. Let's give it a try. It's good, folks. I'd like to thank you all for watching. Carolyn did a great job. Finish it up, Shug. The links will be in the description. I want to thank you all for watching. I hope you have a blessed day and come back and see us.